Good morning, I'm Russell with the Piano Outlet. Today is Saturday. It is July 19th, 2014. This is a Y CA40N, and I'm about to make a video for Jack and Susie. Uh, they're interested in this piano, and uh, we just received the whole big shipment, so if the camera can pan around, it's all the pianos that we have in right now. And uh, right now, we're in the process of uh, uh, getting uh, many of our pianos ready for our customers. And what I mean by ready is that when the pianos arrive to us, uh, they arrive in, in this condition. Actually, this is very nice condition. A lot of times they don't arrive at this nice. Uh, but uh, let me just quickly show and review what is more typical of how a piano arrives to us. This is the Yamaha C3. I'm going to open it up. You see the, the top of it is in very good condition. It's a little scratched up. But we remove everything on these pianos. We take the lock bot off, the screws off, the hinge off, this part of the lid off, the complete lid off. We take the fallboard off. This, these come off. All the parts of the piano get removed. And then we take the strings out, we take the plate out, refinish the soundboard. Basically, you have a new piano again. Uh, actually, if you come over here, you'll be able to see where they come out and they're finished. This is a Yamaha G3 that has already had the soundboard refinished. All new hardware, new strings, everything buffed and polished out. And uh, that's the process that our pianos go through. Um, I'm just reviewing. For those people who haven't seen my videos before, so they have an understanding and appreciation of the type of work that we do here. We just don't clean pianos. We actually do a full service. We'll take the piano exactly like what you see here. A really nice piano. This is late 70s. The only issue with this piano is we've got ba bass strings, especially down here, which are dead. Uh, several things you could do to, 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 to remedy that. You could actually turn the bass string and uh, try to get a few more years out of it. But uh, obviously, when somebody buys a piano, they don't want to keep it for a few years. They want to keep it for many years. So uh, we don't do that here. We just replace all the strings. This is a, a, a perfect uh, uh, example of the, the pianos when they come in and how they look and before we get to them. But let's get back to this Kawhi, which you can see is actually in very nice condition already. Uh, really doesn't need much work. One thing very apparent about this piano right off the bat is how clean it is. Um, it's going to be a lot cleaner when we finish with it. But uh, with the camera coming here, look at the hammers. It's basically a brand new hammer with very, very very faint impressions. The hammers have not been filed. Because so if they're filed, then you could tell because the shoulders will be sticking out. And uh, you can see that the hammers are in beautiful condition, nice and white. And everything's nice and clean. The bass strings are still nice, bright copper. Uh, soundboard is nice and clean. And uh, I wish every piano came in like this. It would be a lot less work for us. Let me go ahead and play a little bit for, for Jack and Susie to get an idea of what it sounds like.
trying to be six foot and, and, uh, and larger, because this is uh, an actual grand. <laughs> sounds pretty warm and in here it sounds warm so that's also indicative of a piano that's uh, new with nice and soft hammers and uh, so if you're putting this ha this piano in a house with uh, hardwood floors it's going to sound great you'll, you'll play it all day long and it'll, you'll never fatigue from the sound because sometimes if you have a right, real bright piano and when you're playing that piano the sound starts bouncing around and sometimes it might get a little, to be a little too much maybe not for me because I like a bright sound but uh, this piano would be great uh, for somebody that uh, has a home that's got a lot of hard surfaces. And if you like it brighter, it's going to get brighter naturally the more you play it. And then uh, we can always voice it brighter if you like. So, uh, Jack, I hope you like my little video for you. And uh, just let me know what you think. Thank you very much.